Chinese Communist Party leader Xi Jinping visited the Marine Corps base in Chaozhou, Guangdong, and emphasized the party's absolute leadership as the U.S.-China tensions rise. Taiwan Society of International Law Deputy Secretary General Lin Tinghui analyzed that Xi made the move because he was worried that the People's Liberation Army (PLA) might initiate the first move and leave the CCP no choice but war. The Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer USS John S. McCain DDG-56 conducted a small boat combat exercise in the Parasol Islands on October 9th, the first U.S. regional exercise in waters CCP unilaterally claimed as China's. In an interview with the Epoch Times, Lin said that the U.S. drill was an island seizure exercise and was highly provocative. Lin added that an island seizure drill is about two Marines fighting each other. The side with lower capabilities would be defeated. Xi Jinping is facing the U.S. military's continuous offense and therefore needs to prepare accordingly. As for the visit to Chaozhou, Lin said that the U.S. has turned the CCP from being on the offensive to the defensive. The CCP didn't react to the U.S. drill on October 9th. This was the order of the CCP's Central Military Commission, according to Lin. Xi took Xu Qiliang, vice chairman of the Central Military Commission of the CCP, and Shen Jinlong, commander of the Navy, to Chaozhou together. Lin said that Xi sent a signal with his choice of delegation. Whether the PLA would initiate an attack or respond with any counterattacks, it would be directly from the Central Military Commission, with the absolute leadership of the CCP. In short, Xi gave orders to the frontline CCP combat troops, don't act rashly, it's all up to me. The CCP is currently adopting a wolf warrior style diplomacy with the external world. Lin said that some Chinese PLA leaders might venture into small-scale conflicts to gain military credit, rather than considering the overall situation strategically. This was Xi's main concern. Lin said that the CCP believes that the United States has been provoking the PLA and that it's a trap. If the PLA makes the first move under such circumstances, the U.S. military would then have the best reason to intervene on issues concerning Taiwan and the South China Sea. Lin added that once a naval battle starts, China and India will be at war at their borders again. One thing would lead to another, and the entire region will be affected, especially with the fifth plenary session of the 19th National Congress of the CCP coming up, the 20th National Congress of the CCP in a couple of years' time, which will discuss succession-related issues. There are potential chain reactions. Xi Jinping canceled the last two stops in Guangzhou and Zhuhai and returned to Beijing early. Lin believes that this is strongly correlated to the situation in the Taiwan Strait and the South China Sea. This shows that Xi Jinping was very nervous and under lots of pressure.